what's up everyone i hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day today and if not i do hope that it gets better i would like to say thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out today's video it means a lot to me and i truly do appreciate it now if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing here and you wouldn't mind continuing to help support not only me but the channel as well please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button that's currently sitting below the video and make sure to hit that bell icon so you can stay updated on all of my Gotham Knights related content. Today will be a quick video as we go over some new details that people might have missed regarding Gotham Knights. One key thing that I would like to touch on are the suits. Now, it's been stated that there will be various suit, well, suit styles in the game for our characters like the Shinobi set, the Nightwatch set, the Year One set, and so on and so forth right being able to find blueprints in order to craft new suits and then mix up those colorways even having the function to transmog suits so that you won't be as restricted right you can have the look that you want for your character and not have it affect your stats now we do have an exact number i believe that was stated in the article by marty each character by themselves will have around 11 to 12 suits and those suits are full styles the customization, however, comes in with mixing different pieces of the suits together and then adding in the colorways that you will unlock as you move on th throughout the game. Now, in terms of the story, the game starts with each of the knights as separate as possible. What I mean by that is each one has been fully involved in doing their own thing. Nightwing, for example, is the oldest of the team. This takes place during the part of his career where He's established himself as his own hero. Nightwing is now a name that people know. When he left, him and Bruce did not part on good terms and Bruce's death is the only reason that he's back in Gotham. Fleur then goes on to talk about how his story arc will show him dealing with that grief of his dealt and the guilt of his last time seeing Bruce going in a very bad way. They had a very bad conversation. So his headspace is definitely far from okay. He's going to need a lot of work in order to get through all of that. Now the game starts with Batman's death and the Knights join each other from various points of wherever they currently are in their lives. In terms of how close they are, Red Hood as usual is off doing his lone wolf thing and he's actually the least connected to the entire team. Robin is the youngest and it seems like he's had a better history with Bruce than any of the other knights so that's going to reflect how he deals with the loss and works on trying to continue with his legacy there's even a reference to it in robin's character trailer when he mentions that now whenever you think of a robin you have to think of a robin without batman and that's weird red hood however is a different story i mentioned in some of my videos way back when each character would have their own story arc to go through both as a team and individuals Red Hood got killed recently, right? It's, it has not been that long since he caught the crowbar. So as we dig more into his storyline, the more surprises that could possibly be set in store for us. Because this Red Hood doesn't know the full details as to how and why he was brought back. So this could lead to the League of Assassins being introduced and us learning more about Jason's history with them and possibly even another Robin that's famous for their connection to both the bat family and the league y'all y'all know who i'm talking about now next up is some general bat cycle stuff right because that's that's one thing that i see that's not really talked about all that much now the bat cycle will be the fastest way but well, one of the fastest ways to get around the city whenever you want to go fast but you still want to take your time and take in the environment of gotham city so you know you can just appreciate how big and how beautiful it is right You'll be able to mess with the colors of your bike to make it look the way that you want. You'll even be able to change how the engine sounds. And ability wise, that's really going to be more focused on the player part of it, like jumping off and landing on the enemy and such. The bat cycle itself is not upgradable, but the blueprints, because I also want to add this in, the blueprints that you do find for colorways for your suits will also translate over to the bike as well. So keep that in mind. And with that, that comes the end of this quick video. I hope you guys have had a decent time here. I know that I've had 
let me know down in the comments below how you guys feel about anything we talked about here today or even how you feel about the Batgirl gameplay that's sitting in front of you let's go ahead and start a dialogue and again if you've enjoyed the content please remember to like share and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you won't ever miss out on any of my future Gotham Nights nice related content and I will catch y'all in the moonlight peace